what clear code are we doing? We're about to jump into clear in this video and you're gonna see it. So I'm gonna put you on time lapse for the first coat. And then after that, dude, I gotta get to work. I got like three coats to do on this. Pretty sure I'm just gonna do three um, <coughs> because we're not cutting a buff. And if we knew we were doing a cut and buff, we'd be doing four coats. That would bring us down to three um, on the car. We'd cut a coat off. But since we're not wet sand and buffing, we're only gonna do three coats because we're not taking a coat off. So let me flip the camera around and I'll show you what clears we're using on this job. Uh, every single job is different. So wherever you're at, you just go to your local supplier and find out what uh, they recommend. This is gonna be a production clear, so it's not a high solids clear. So it's not a show quality uh, clear. It's not a glamor clear or anything like this. This is what insurance companies would put on your car. If you're 2020, 21 or whatever, um, Honda Civic got an accident, this is the type of clear they'd be putting on it. So this is production, everyday clear. This lady's gonna be driving this car. It's gonna get shopping cart ding. She's literally gonna drive this thing. Um, so we're not putting glamour clear. We're not putting show quality clear. We're not building a show car. All right, so we are using the Omni product line, MC270. This is a production clear. This mixes four to one. Um, you can add another one if you want for the reducer. So four to one to one. I've went over on the mixing cups, how to read it a hundred times in the previous di videos. But since it's a four to one to one, you're looking for that column, not three to one to one. You're looking for four to one to one. And then you'll match your steps up six, 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 or three, 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 or one, 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 whatever you want to match. Uh, clear coat comes first, four parts clear, one part hardener, one part reducer. Uh, there is the hardener we're doing. We're using slow using slow reducer uh, it's pretty straightforward you need to watch my other videos if you want more in depth on this because i got videos where we have went over it for 20 freaking minutes i can't do it in this video let me get this in the cup let's throw you on a time lapse and let's see how this thing turns out
that is how this thing turned out. Man, I mean, honestly, dude, it looks pretty good. There's probably, uh, let's be realistic, 5% trash in the job. But man, I mean, nothing, nothing major at all. It does, it really looks good. Um, the top looks like it's a little fuzzy. Turn the booth back on here in a second, probably. Well, it's pretty dry though. Might just open the booth doors up so it can gas out. Uh, yeah, the top is a little fuzzier than I like. Trash around the fenders and stuff of the engine bay. Um, we did do a little fix on our situation right here. I just tried it because if the owner is cool with, let's see here, right there. So if they're good with just sending it for right now, we got these two trash spots right here. And then that was our area that we fixed. So you can't really see the area. Let's see here. Uh, you can slightly see there's some distortion right there in the light, uh, but we can wet sand out this square, this cube right here. And probably honestly be pretty good. I could probably dab some more clear in that once it dries and then wet sand that. And then we honestly might just send the hood uh, if the owner's cool with that, because if anything else fails on the hood within the year, then we would need to go back in anyway. So instead of fixing just this one spot and then something fails over there, might as well give it some time to see what it's gonna do before we dive into the hood is my opinion. Um, top of the fenders, I'd like to wet sand and buff. Like I said, I didn't charge for that though. So I gotta be careful with how much I do. Um, I've already done above and beyond what I should do. Looks like I do gotta run right there. It was going pretty wet on these quarters. So I'll take care of that. I honor that kind of stuff in my price. Even if I sell you a job that's no cut, no buff. And this side actually laid out a lot better than that side. But I bet it what it is, is it's so hot here and this takes so much time to get around is I can't remember. I think I did that side first. And then when you do this side, the overspray, just like the video where um, I showed you how much red dust was on top of here. So I guarantee you that's that fuzzy. It's just that little bit of overspray that it had already kicked off on that side and it melted in. We were using slow hardener, slow reducer. Probably should have used very slow hardener and very slow reducer. That's like the slowest stuff you can get. Um, but I always just use slow and normally don't have a problem at all. Besides that, I mean, dude, the car looks really good for the budget. Again, I'm not gonna tell y'all, unfortunately, what the customer paid. Uh, it's a middle of the road job. I got a little run over here that I really need to get. And I do know I ran underneath the handles if it's still there. Yeah, there's a, yeah. There's a little one underneath the handles we need to get on Monday. There's a little fat piece right there, fat piece right there of dust particles. So I'll nib them pieces. I honor that kind of stuff when I sell you a job. Uh, even if it's no cut, no buff, and you're cool with trash, um, I don't send big pieces of trash out the door. I'll send dust out the door and particles because you're saving money by not cutting and buffing. And um, I have to remember that I'm doing the job for cheap because I'm not cutting and buffing. So if I turn around and sell you a job, no cut, no buff, and then I cut and buff everything, I kind of screw myself as a shop and not make money. Um, these pieces turned out amazing. It does look really orange. Like, man, this looks, this literally looks like grabber orange on the uh, camera when it is like truly red. That is crazy. Look over there how red that looks to here. It's the same color. It's just the lighting. It's literally the lighting in the booth playing tricks. We turn that down, look at how the two shades look different. It's just the lighting because it's perfect here. Um, but it looks good. It really, it honestly does. For the budget, for what this customer just paid to have this work done, um, you, you, you can't find, I bet you you couldn't find anybody else that would touch it to this caliber for that price tag. Man, that thing looks good. All the jams are done out. We got in here as good as we can. All the tracks are just beautifully clean for new seals to go inside of. All the tops are nice and clean. I mean, clean, clean, man. We got this thing clean. Bottom of the deck lid. It's beautiful. All nice and shiny again. This is the type of overspray that the, the uh, guy I was working with wanted. He said he did not want this taped, so it was nice and sharp that he wanted that 
uh, fuzzy overspray look. If it was my personal car, I would have taped it across there and that would have been red and them lines would have stopped perfect. They want not be like that. But uh, I do what the customer pays me to do and what the customer wants to do. And that's the look that he wanted on this car. So that's the look that we gave. Just like in here, uh, I wouldn't have done that. How it's kind of like fuzzy. That's what he wanted though. He said that that's, that's exactly how it's supposed to be. Um, from the factory, they don't really mask it. And so uh, I was born in 87, so I can't, <laughs> y'all, a lot of y'all are gonna be like, holy crap. Um, so I can't exactly uh, quote that because uh, I've never even driven a freaking 68 Camaro or been around one besides the couple, you know, that I've seen in shops and this is my first one painting. So yeah, I think it turned out good. Y'all let me know in the comments what you think. Remember this is a middle of the road paint job. Bottom of the barrel paint job is 12, 1500 bucks. Top of the line is 10,000. It's the middle of the road. That'll give you a number roughly. Um, let me know what you think for middle of the road between 15 and 10,000. Slap that thing in the middle, give or take. What do you think about everything that we have done? Y'all let me know in the comment section, smash that like button and I'll catch y'all in the next video when we start fixing this stuff back here. We redo the tail light panel and we see what we're gonna do with the hood. Thanks y'all.